This is a nice hen soup with post fresh egg. Hey, today I'm in Steenkorn. It's a big organic farm and they are very known for their very fresh eggs and good hens for cooking soup. So here we have all the hens having a good life and they can walk out to the apple orchard. It's really nice to come to the farm shop. It's only 20 minutes away from Copenhagen. Steenkorn is the largest organic farm shop in Denmark. It's open every day. And the letter Ø is the Danish letter for ökologisk. That means organic. I'm on my way to do some shopping. I'll take a little look. What can you get here? You can get different stuff for your garden. It's a very big farm shop, so it's very easy to get everything here. Steengorn is very known for the fresh eggs from the so hens. In the freezer you can find the very good hens. So I'll grab free hens. They are so good for soup. Hi, so hi in the farm. Yeah, it's okay. Hi, today I'm gonna cook stock from a hen. I used to have a hen in the freezer that I can just prepare anytime, but I also have prepared stock in my freezer for risotto, for soup or whatsoever. I really like this. So I will start cooking the hen. I have taken a hen out of the freezer yesterday, so it's ready to be boiled. It's an old one, so it needs to be boiled like three, four hours, and then I have some root vegetables that will give flavor to the stock. So the hen will be cooked in cold water. It has to be covered like this, and then I start boiling it. I'll turn the hen around. I'll salt the soup and again I will skim it. I will put lid on now since it's going into the hay box. The hen has cooked for 10 minutes. Now I will add vegetables to the soup, root celery, carrots, leek, some garlic, thyme and bay leaf and some pepper. Now I have added vegetables to the soup and it has to boil for 10 minutes. I'm gonna use my hay box today because I have to do some shopping and other stuff so I can just put the soup, the pot, into my uh, hay box. I did a book about cooking in a hay box and it takes a long time but it's very easy and it doesn't take any energy. So I will open this. It's a modern hay box. I don't have hay in it. I have blankets, picnic blankets, and uh, this is a, uh, something that you use for camping, an old one like that. Now I will put the pot into the hay box. The hen has cooked with the vegetables all together 20 minutes. I put a newspaper in the bottom and then I put the very hot pot directly into the hay box and then I close it, put it like this so all the heat stays in here. And then I put the lid on the hay box and now it will cook for four hours. The very good thing about hay cooking is that the flavor in the food is so intense because it's really a slow cooking method where all the ingredients in your cooking in the hay box will combine each other and get a very good flavor. But it takes double as long time as cooking on a regular uh, stove. So I have lifted it up in the blanket, in the picnic blanket. Oh. So here it comes, 
the very hot pot. The soup is still very hot. Now I'll take up the soup pan and I will make some dishes with the meat from the soup pan in another YouTube. But for this video, I will only use the stock. And now I start to strain it. When the stock is strained, then you can reduce it into soup and you simply boil it until it's so intense in the flavor that you think it's a good soup. So I'll test it. Mm, it's very nice. It tastes of umami, herbs. So the soup today will be with winter vegetables from Steengorn and I will make a poached egg for the soup. I'm boiling the vegetables some minutes in the uh, soup. I'm putting fresh egg into almost boiling water with a little bit of vinegar. The fresh egg will cook for around four minutes in the water. So my soup is ready with the vegetables and the poached egg. Mmm, it's got a nice lunch. And I will add some shives on the top. In one of the next videos, I will tell about what you can use the meat from the hen, from the cooked hens for.